It was a moment they had both dreamed about. Standing at the door of the cathedral, Frank Bruno clutched daughter Rachel's hand and slowly walked her forward. By the time he reached the altar he didn't want to let her go. It's little wonder. After all, five years earlier, it was Rachel tightly holding her father's hand. Back then the ex-heavyweight champion of the world was in a hospital bed after being sectioned under the Mental Health Act, with the family's consent. At times Frank's battle with bipolar disorder made him fear moments like giving Rachel away may never happen. But it has arrived. And nothing could wipe the smiles from their faces. To marry the love of my life with Dad by my side is all I could ever have asked for, Rachel said. When Dad wasn't well I feared it might not happen so I'm so proud of how he has turned things around. Our pictures capture 55-year-old Frank back to his best after a harrowing battle with mental ill health. He was first diagnosed with bipolar in 1998 and has been sectioned three times. It was eldest daughter Nicola, 34, who, in 2003, signed the form giving doctors the authorization to section her father. Two years ago he checked himself back into hospital after a relapse. But Frank is now in the best shape since he retired from the ring. And he and Rachel, one of his three children with ex-wife Laura, gave a moving joint interview ahead of her marriage to businessman Bobby Hardy, 33. Relaxing at a health farm in Ring, Hearts, there was no sign of pre-wedding nerves from the further of the bride. He was promising a few surprises in his speech. That booming, gregarious laugh which made Frank a national treasure was back. And no one is happier about that than his 30-year-old daughter. I am so proud of how Dad is doing now, Rachel said, looking across at Frank. Fighting a mental health condition isn't easy. You have to live with it every day but this is the best he has been. To go from how dark he was at certain times is simply incredible. He is a totally different person. Having to see Dad all those times in hospital was really hard for me. Nicola and my brother Franklin. I remember sitting in the car crying after every visit. I am proud he fought so hard to get out because, of course, there were moments I was thinking, is he going to be there? I am just so glad he is. So too, of course, is Frank. Being back in control of his life is his biggest success since beating Oliver McCall to become world champion in 1995. Life's good now. Frank said. And I will be really proud when the moment comes to give Rachel away. It will be emotional. She'll always be my little girl. I might have a few tears. It is a moment every further lucky enough to have a daughter dreams of. Yes, there have been ups and downs, but life is very, very good now. And the wedding is an up. I have my speech sorted. Hopefully people will laugh in the right places. Rachel and childhood sweetheart Bobby, a director of a maintenance firm, have been dating for more than 15 years. So how does a man cope when the girl of his dreams explains dad is a former world champ? Oh, Bobby just went with it, Rachel laughed. He treated my dad normally. He wasn't scared of meeting him. He respected him so they got on really well. Frank chipped in. He's a great kid and Bobby and Rachel make a fantastic couple. When he turned up to meet me he had a little yellow car with bigger speakers in it than I had. So I thought I might need to have a word about that. But it was clear, straight away, Rachel was so, in love. He looks after her and I don't think Rachel could have found a better guy to spend her life with. Bobby proposed in Dubai, writing will you marry me? In large letters on the beach. Jill didn't see it coming. I was shocked, she said. But I said yes straight away. It was meant to be, we were proper childhood sweethearts. We have had an on-off relationship. I had to spread my wings, but we found our way back together. When I was 15 I was already dreaming of a perfect wedding so I just wanted to be a fairy tale. But Rachel, who arrived at Brentwood Cathedral with Frank in a Rolls Royce Phantom, was expecting her big day to be very emotional. She added, when he holds my hand I imagine I will be in pieces. I just want my family to be proud of me. 
more than 180 family and friends were at the nuptials. Nicola, was maid of honor and Franklin, 22, was among 14 nashes at the Catholic service. For personal trainer Rachel, who looked stunning in a Suzanne Neville gown, there was only way she was going to get in shape for the big day. Boxing, she giggled. I have been sparring with Franklin lately. I caught him on the nose the other day. After the ceremony 350 guests attended a party at the home of Bobby's parents. It triggered memories of parties at home when Rachel was a kid. She was eight when Frank won the world title and, recalling the next day, she said, it was amazing. A fan sprayed graffiti on the road saying Frank Bruno heavyweight champion of the world. It was on the tarmac for a year. I remember the bus through London, waving at everyone. Even now when I go out everyone has a story about dad. It is overwhelming. I am proud of what he continues to do in the way he lives his life. In recent years a huge part of Frank's life has been about helping others. In 2013 he launched a campaign with the Sunday Mirror and the Time to Change organization to help improve mental health care. He also launched the Frank Bruno Foundation which aims to use non-contact boxing to help those suffering conditions like depression and bipolar. The foundation also promotes counseling and well-being courses as alternative treatment. And no one is more impressed with the work Frank is doing than his daughter. After release from hospital in 2012, Frank appeared in a harrowing BBC documentary with Rachel. The program, My Dad Frank, Bipolar Disorder and Me, led to many people getting in touch with Rachel. She said the wedding was an opportunity to stand side by side in a much happier place in our lives. Rachel admitted her anxiety had risen in the run-up to the big day. But she believes talking about her feelings helps to control it as does yoga and even boxing. She said, if you've got a bit of anger then it is best to get it out. Dad gives great advice. If I kept it all in it would make things worse. For years Frank, who is single these days, was unable to open up about his own illness. But that has changed and later this year he releases a book about his recovery, Let Me Be Frank. He said, it's good that people feel more open. It can save lives. It is clear Frank's life has been transformed. Demons are behind him. The wedding has come at a perfect time. Rachel said, We are all on the up. I am marrying the love of my life. But to have my dad next to me is just perfect. I couldn't ask for more in life.